Do you agree or disagree uh, with Dr. Samuels as to the post-traumatic stress disorder? She does not have post-traumatic stress disorder. How about under A, if you can tell us again what it refers to and whether or not you agree or disagree with uh, Dr. Samuels as to whether or not the defendant meets that criteria? A is the presence of a traumatic event that so, caused... Go ahead. That causes a strong sense of horror, fear. So do you agree or disagree with Dr. Samuels as to that, whether or not the defendant meets it? Dr. Samuels indicated that he, that she experienced PTSD as a result of the killing. And so um, do you agree or disagree with his assessment there? The way that she describes it, she felt fear for her life. So she would meet criteria for A, yes. Well, what about the fact that perhaps there was these two intruders that came in? If these two intruders came in and there's this an event, is that the basis for this meeting this criteria? If that's what he based his diagnosis on, then that would be inaccurate. And would you then agree that, that that's, and if you can't meet the first criteria, in other words, if you are basing it, let's assume, that uh, it's a, an event that may or may not have occurred, if it's an event that didn't occur, would that automatically do away with post-traumatic stress disorder? Objection to the testimony. Overruled, the jury is directed to recall the testimony presented during the trial. Would that do that? As I, yes, because as I highlighted earlier, the symptoms are strongly related to the actual trauma, which is that criteria A that you're referring to. Does there have to be an actual event that triggers this, or can it, or can this post-traumatic stress disorder be based on a made-up event? It cannot be based on a made-up event. What if it turned out that that was an absolute untruth, that it wasn't a stranger, it was somebody that she actually knew? You indicated that that would invalidate the rest of the test, right? It would absolutely invalidate the test. Well, what about the position that, that for example, that says, well, she still suffered trauma. It's just that she, maybe it was a white lie that she told about what the triggering event was. If it was just a white lie, and all of this other stuff here refers to the white lie, does that some, somehow validate this test? It does not, again, because PTSD is strongly tied to what the actual trauma is. So in terms of this PDS, if the trauma was not related to a stranger, in terms of the opinion in this case, is it worth anything? No, other than it's an other evidence that Ms. Arias decided to lie on a test. Objection, Judge. May we approach? May approach. According to this PT PDS test, Ms. Arias meets these criteria, doesn't she? According to the... According to this PDS test, she meets the criteria for A, B, C, and D. According to the falsified traumatic event that she was referring to. This falsified traumatic event that you want to keep talking about, Objection. this... Keep talking about improper question. Overruled. We just established that this event, this trauma that she's talking about is when she was, again, I'm showing you the same exhibit, assaulted and her life was threatened, right? By a stranger. And that's gonna make a difference to you? Absolutely. Okay, so it doesn't say stranger here, right? That's what number four is? No, I'm talking about the handwriting. It doesn't say stranger, oh, does it? Correct, that doesn't say stranger there. It just says that she was assaulted and she felt her life was threatened, right? In, right. Okay, and so, if somebody, so if somebody's assaulted and their life is threatened by someone they know, then that's not traumatic. Is that what you're saying? No, you're okay. mischaracterizing what I'm saying. All right, well then you would agree that that's traumatic, right? Ask the question again, please. If somebody was assaulted and their life was threatened by someone they know, that would be traumatic. It could be traumatic, yes. Okay, and so sometimes when somebody's life is, is threatened, that's not, that may not be traumatic. Right, it depends on the person's perception of it. And their perception is, is that they've been assaulted and their life is threatened. That 
according to you, may not cause any trauma to somebody. It could, no, it could cause a trauma, absolutely. All right. 